Welcome back everybody to episode 2 on this multiplayer challenge We are loaded right out, I think it's actually lifting the front wheels slightly That wheel is not even moving Very heavy at the back, but that is literally both those trees that we had left over Now I have checked couple of the trees outside of our fence line and there is two more big ones like these we've cut down that we might be able to cut down it's allowing me to go up to them and you get the little green ring around so what do you think do you think it's fair game if we're allowed to cut them down it's showing we're allowed to cut them down I guess we're allowed to cut them down it must be technically in our land so there is potential for another two biggish trees there to be cut down but um let me know your thoughts on that but here we are look at the suspension on this bouncing <laughs> i'm gonna do that and we'll see how much we make here hopefully a decent amount happy day 6268 Gives us a total of 9,334. Now, not that, certainly not that. Do we? Can't afford that. We can afford that field. That has wheat in. Do we buy that field? Can't quite afford that. I mean, I haven't really had the conversation with Rusi about buying fields and that, but I'm guessing, of course, as we progress, if we can afford plots of land, I mean, some of these are going to be well out of the way. If we can afford plots of land, fields and things like that, should we buy that? Well, he's only going to tell me off if this not in the rules isn't he <laughs> so i think we will i mean that's the whole idea isn't it progress buy more land whatever fields etc depending on what map you're on i think that would be worth our while to do that so let's buy that my goodness, he's going to be like, oh my goodness, snow is expanding already. Wow, got to strike while the iron's hot. Now, I'm going to head back up to the farm. I think we'll get that field harvested, shall we? And then we'll check the prices. They're not going to be amazing, but maybe we could sell now just to make a little bit more money. But we'll see. But we'll head on up to the farm and go from there. Okay, home sweet home. A couple of things to mention whilst we're here. I did kind of mess up a little bit last episode because if you remember I mentioned that we're allowed to remove one decorative item that is obviously in our way per episode. I didn't do that last episode did I so technically I've missed out on removing an object which is a bit annoying so whilst I do remember I'm going to get rid of this skip probably is going to give us a bit of money oh it's only eight pounds that's fine it's not going to make us millionaires is it so that is my one object for this episode I'm not going to go Oh, well, I missed one last episode because that is my own fault. That's fine. That's not a problem. So we can get to our mower. I think we should be able to get to most of those pieces of equipment in there if we need them. Now, the other thing, and this is thanks to Dartmoor Mike, so thank you, buddy. It was that symbol. I'm thinking like, that is the taking out kind of loading up symbol, isn't it? So it had me baffled. Now, obviously, I tried this last episode to fill up that tanker 
at first I didn't realize that you lift this flap up it still didn't work after I did realize that but then Mike kindly pointed out he said I think it does allow you to fill up with water but it charges you because you had no money that might be the case so I did come on here and check as you can see I've got 485 liters in there so I'll start this up opening the little flap we are filling up now that money isn't going down oh, it is going is that the normal rate I mean that's not too much I think it was like three pounds earlier for the small amounts that's 18 pounds yeah I don't think we should be doing that too much right while we're here actually we are going to clean a bit of this equipment it is it is very filthy Rusi has done a very good job of making it look old and battered can't really afford to get anything fixed or repaired which is fine I'm not worried about that but we can at least try and clean them a little bit whilst we are here and I'll do the little old truck over there as well if it will allow me to get around there it will indeed give that a bit of a spray off so I think, I, well, as soon as we've got a trailer full of water there, we'll chuck some more in the greenhouse. We're not going to have any products over there already because we're still in August. We've only skipped on, well, I can't even remember what time it was last episode. We're only on 0.5 and this is something me and Rusi need to sort of monitor and play it by ear in terms of the speed of the time etc so we will be doing that so it could change here and there and another thing to mention is I am having to pre-record a few of these episodes because I am away for a few days so you probably will see this maybe about a week after the first episode and then hopefully it might be a little bit sooner than that and then hopefully you might see another one or two before I return but I will get a few um, stacked up and we'll go from there I think um, right now let's drop that down there where was my trailer it was over here wasn't it there we go we need that to unload the harvester. There we go. Nice. Bring that. Um, yeah, we'll bring this outside. So there is our new field. So that's not bad, we bought a field already in episode 2. Now I am going to tab to vehicles, it's not a problem. Right, so I think this we should easily get out of there. Um, he says, there's the fence lines there. Oh, there's loads of room out the back here. If only I could drive sensibly, that would help, wouldn't it? Now the header was over the far side. Wow, this feels really rapid. Why does this feel like it's going faster than that old truck? I'm sure that old truck's 24 miles per hour. Oh, while we're here, I'll quickly show you said trees. So hop over the fence. Now again, by the time you see this video and respond, I've probably recorded the next episode, but I probably won't do anything with these trees just yet. Um, where were they? Let's get rid of that. I can. I think it was this one here. 
yeah look that's still quite a way now the only thing is we'll probably have to fire it across that way well, that should still allow us to pick them up and then it's this guy right in this corner yeah I'm pretty sure if we chop it even if it was in this area we chop it up we oh no it might not allow us to chop it up mightn't it so we're gonna have to try and aim that one's going to be a bit tricky because of the shed. Um, anyway, we'll see. Uh, where's the harvester? Right, we'll carry on anyway. Let's get the head up. I think that was pretty easy to grab, wasn't it? So I just want to quickly check, actually. What have we... My goodness, there's a lot of... Is that because it's multiplayer? There's a lot of used equipment there, but we can't afford any of that. So, the track to the harvester we found, that's the old thing. We know that. We've got the trailer, know the header. Plows in the shed, I think, where we just deleted the skip. I think the seed is in there as well. I've seen this guy. I've seen the weeder. The mower is in where the skip was. The tether was over by the harvester just now this guy this bar is missing <laughs> which obviously i've done that to rusi as well so that could be difficult to find but this thing looks like a right pain to um use i think we've seen the baler haven't we obviously we've used the axe we've used this guy front loaders and the thing that's hanging through the roof pretty sure i've seen the weight somewhere i can't remember and that's roller i can't remember if we've seen that or not i think we have so i think we've got everything apart from that bar oh hello is that i'm not very square on there am i there we go oh um hello can you see that in that little tower? Is that a bit of red? Nice. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, what a... That's brilliant he's done that. I love that. How cool is that? I literally just caught my eye look reverse and I thought oh, what's that red looks a bit out of place okay that's very random I swear that was not planned or anything just a bit random I was talking about it and then all of a sudden it was there so have we got everything I think we might have and I'm just gonna have another little check in there there's the weight there's the baler the plow yeah it's just that funny little roll up I'm pretty sure I did see it somewhere I wonder if it's in that shed there I'm not too worried about it at the moment I guess we will need it at some point what I do want to know though and I bet it isn't because it looks very old that's probably not a direct drill is it okay god does that mean we've got to use the plow oh no spike roller is used to cultivate field after plowing It's one meter wide though that is insane how wide is this plow 0.9 this is what we're up against folks i'm all for using small equipment but sometimes it's so small and you're like oh my goodness that is just insane um Right, hang on a sec. I always forget. Saw swath, disable saw, saw swath. 
enable straw swath. Right, we should be swathing with straw. We will um, obviously have straw and we can bow that up. Let's start over this side. Upset a few of our new neighbours with a noisy harvester coming through at them. We're not going to get a lot off this field. We can't really expand it, which is a bit of a shame, not without having to buy the land that surrounds this plot, which I think is going to be fairly pricey, if I remember from last episode. We probably will check that. But we could definitely go that way and make a weird shaped field, like an L shape. But I mean, this is ages away, isn't it? That's gonna... 123,000. I don't think we're gonna be able to afford things like that. See, this is going to be very tough to be able to afford plots of land, I think. I do think we might have to get together, me and Rusi, in a chat and talk about adding a few different mods as well. Because we haven't got a mass amount in here in one you think about things that we could do to get going we're still not going to be able to do them because of the price because most of the base game things are very expensive so this is where your mods come into play so for instance I don't think we've got any Cheap. I don't even know if there is that many cheap bunker silos out there. But certainly the base game ones are ridiculous price. But anyway, at least we've got a ready-made field for us to tend to before we have to create our own which i am looking forward to over there we are going to have to get rid of a lot of trees unless i kind of build the fields around the trees and it doesn't matter too much if there's a tree in the middle of the field we can always get rid of it at a later date it's just probably get the fields created and get going I think but that plow uh, it's going to take a long time to create a field so uh, nearly 60% full Probably about halfway across the field. <laughs> so it's not a massive field, but um, it's a start. I mean, maybe we could have done the contract on it first, made a bit of money off the contract, and then any leftover crop, and then bought the field, but. I'm not sure which would have generated us more money. Now the other thing we could do is keep over the wheat and maybe earn a bit more money and get some chickens. They're always a good thing to start off with if you're struggling with money. Oh, we've got some lag coming up. Oh dear. Right, we're back. <laughs> it said I lost connection and basically kicked me out. And I had to load back in. Did lose 
all of this progress from harvesting up to the point where it crashed it loaded me in I was in the harvester and we was over by those huts where I was looking at that little bar that Rusi had hidden up there so I've had to redo all of this field again it doesn't take too long or didn't take too long but there we go we've got 1500 litres in the trailer already plus this so just over 2000 litres of wheat we'll have a quick look but I'm not expecting it to be oh my Elm Creek that's the tr that's got to be the train cell point isn't it um, let's get off of that yeah that's got to be Elm Creek the train okay that changes things in my opinion I know we could put it towards some chicken feed but I would rather make the money especially at those prices that's saying 1308 we're at two so I think we should go and sell that let's get rid of the harvester I think we'll whiz down sell that we'll come back we might bail these or bail this straw up should I say and see where we're at then we've already got work going for ourselves here which is good but I'll pop that down there because that could do a bit of a clean as well if we go back to the tractor and trailer 2071 so we should make a few grand off of this That's a nice feel, but I'm pretty sure that one comes with the start and farm. If you come on here in new farm mode, so it's a bit pricey that I think. A random field there of sunflowers. Again, I'm not sure. I don't think you get a lot of land with the fields. The fields are literally just the size that they are when you buy them. If that makes sense like the wind uh, the wind the one we've just bought you don't get any of the land around it it's literally the size and shape of the field that we own and that's it so as soon as I come off the edge of the field with the harvest still still going it, it come up with the old warning you do not have access to this land so that's a little bit annoying anyway I know we could probably put some of this money towards fixing up some of our equipment but this tractor looks pretty ruined I just kind of feel like oh, sh do I shall we we'll see let's go and see what we can make up of this first that's a production over there I think that's one that's built in and made for the map I don't think we'll really be using that though I'm not sure how much oh my goodness look at see oh that's not too bad actually that's that start and farm so it comes with that plot of land that's not a bad price actually you've got a bit of forestry in there as well and it takes in this little plot which I think is just up in through there which I said before is where your farmhouse is in new farmer mode right so we are going to I'm going to turn on the help window because we're going to need to rent a train we'll make sure we're doing it all properly it looks like we've harvested that field just at the right time because there is rain due at some point Let's 
So let's get along here. I'm presuming it's. Uh, let's call the train first. Where is there? It is there. Oh my, it's quite a way away. Is it moving though? Yes, that's good. So we will tip this in there. It's going to take a while to get here, that train, so I probably will do a bit of a jump cut there. driving on the train tracks and try and tip it in there because at the end of the day why is that not working I hope this isn't something to do with multiplayer but I'm logged in as admin don't see I don't do a lot of multiplayer says I'm allowed to do everything That's it. It's not even coming up, so we can't. Right, I really hope it's not me being silly. There's nothing in and around here. What's this over here? Do I have to let me go any further that way? So it's nothing to do with that. Oh my goodness, that's annoying. Please don't say the train's broken on this map. I've not heard any comments saying that it is. I mean, you shouldn't have to do this, but this, this won't even work anyway, but I'm just going to try it. I'm probably going to get smashed by a train. Oh, it is going to work. Oh my god, the train's coming. The train's coming. The train's coming! What? <laughs> Are we going to make it? Right, we've got a little bit. <laughs> Why does it always happen to me? Ah, uh, let's just move this back. I should have done that sooner, shouldn't I? I honestly didn't think that was going to work, to be fair. But yeah, we shouldn't have to be doing that. That's, um... That's a little bit annoying. Right, let's stop that there. Jump back into the train. Let's turn itself off. We will open that first cart. This should... Start filling with wheat. It's in. Off we go. See, it should make a few grand off of this, which is good. Happy with this so far. We've made some pretty good money this episode. I know obviously it's gone down, but that's because we bought the field, which I think again was a good move. Mm. 
Oh, it's very nice going through the woods and the trees. That's probably going to. Oh, it's probably going to go right to the end of that tunnel. Oh, there's a little track, there's a road here. It's a random little area, isn't it? Should kick us out there. We will sell. So 87 for the train. 4,387. That's pretty good. That is very good. Happy with that. Right, I'm going to head on back up to the farm. So I will see you up there for a little bit of a drive. Okay, back up at the farm. That can't be good for the environment. Look at that. My goodness. Let's see if we can actually grab our baler. Again, I think I'm going to drop this trailer there because that can have a wash. Oh, kiddie, 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 kiddie. Um, in here, wasn't it? I think we should be able to get that. Is this random bucket? That's decorative, isn't it? That, can't pick that up. Um, is that part of the door? Yeah. There is the baler. So let's go in cab. A bit tight. Ugh, disgusting mattress there. I don't even want to know what's been going on there with the chair, Bob, you and the mattress. That is horrific. Whoa, why did that go like that? Are we going to be able to get out of this? I'm not even going to look behind, I'm just going to floor it. Okay, I'm going to have to look behind. To get out of here. Come on, be kind to me. Right, it's literally just a tiny little bit. Come on. Stay tight over that side. Yes, we're out. We are out, guys. Oh, no, I've hit that bucket. <laughs> Who put that there? Right, we'll have to live with that bucket. I don't want to waste a removing object thing on that. Shouldn't take long to do these bells. Probably not going to sell them this episode, but I think we'll get them bailed up now. Any little bits, 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 even. I miss. I will go back and grab them because every little helps, doesn't it? Oh, the good thing is, this is that small bowel there, isn't it? So we should be able to pick these up. We could chuck them on the back of our flatbed, depending on what obviously we're going to do with them. They like shredded wheat coming out of the back there. I haven't had shredded wheat for years. I used to like that. Never mind. I 
Okay, so our first bow has just dropped. Circle that was, wasn't it? Look at those bowels, that is ridiculous. I will check the price of straw in a moment as well, anyway. But there could be, well, because I said earlier I'm having to stack these episodes up, probably will still be in August. But we are obviously going to start losing light at some point. Hopefully not for a while, considering it is August. Oh, please don't start crashing again. A little bit of lag there. Hopefully our neighbours are impressed with me being very productive and proactive on this field. If they're not, I don't care, to be fair. We're doing our own thing. Right, I see, I really hate that when some of these swath disappears. Why it does that? It's quite annoying. So as you can see, we've got quite a few, but they are going to be very small bowels. wondering if we can use that spiked roller to just cultivate over this I may try that seed up or grab some seed anyway because we're going to need seed obviously and I may try it, try it first to see if it is a direct drill I don't think it will be but some of these seeders are they don't mention it I've had that before on maps Right, I'm gonna go back if we miss any little bits. There's another one there, isn't there? There we go. Yeah, I think by the time you see this episode, I'll always, I'll, I can't talk today. Because it's getting late again, this is my only opportunity to record. I've had a bit of a long day at work again. What I was trying to say is by the time you see this episode, I will probably already be away. which is why I'm having to stack them up. Just because it gives you some content then while I am away, because I know it's been a little bit hit and miss here and there for the content, and you guys have been awesome, you all understand. You're all sticking by me as well, which is great. But I do kind of feel, looking not just at my own videos with the views, but other content creators, I feel like a few people are losing a bit of interest in FS22 now. I think probably because 25 is on its way. But I don't know. I'm just looking around at 
different people's views and think, well, it's a bit low for them. I think some of my views have probably dropped because I've not been as consistent as I used to be. Which I totally understand, I can get that. But hopefully we'll get a little bit better and get things back to how they were. Right, last row and then I'll have to go and get these little bits here and there because they probably will make another bow for us. Yeah, we should get another bow out of this easy. I don't think we'll get another one after that though. There we go, we've done it. We will pick it up though. Just to see where that gets us. percent already just on these few little scraps it should convert over right just a tiny little bit there and I think we will call it there for that episode got to check the straw prices first though like I say we probably will be in August when we come in for the next one so, straw, it's not going to earn us a huge amount of money, but it's basically a free product, isn't it? Oh, 205, that sounds pretty good. 147 being the highest, that is very good, and it's going up. Storage bay, I think that's down by the, yeah, store. Well... That's something that we can do next episode then. So we'll pick all the bells up, put them on the back of that flatbed, head on down to Storage Bay and sell them. See what we can make from them. I don't actually know how many we made there. Is it going to tell us on that? Oh, we haven't got the counter thing on, have we? Don't think we've got info on here as well, have we? No, because we're in thingy. Okay, not a problem. There's a few there. But they are only 400 litres. <laughs> so, not too bad. But there you go. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hope you have enjoyed that episode. If you have, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That would be fantastic. And don't forget to smash the bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. Also, don't forget to go and check out Rusi. He will be starting his new episode or episode one very shortly, I believe. So please go and check his side out of the story out. His first episode should be him going to see his farm that I built. <laughs> so that should be interesting. But anyway, thank you so much, guys. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. 
stay frosty.